Hello, my name is Leo, and I am part of Shine for Love Teens Club. This month, as you may know, is Asian Heritage Month, and I'm here to share with you Chinese etiquette. Chinese etiquette originated in the Zhou Dynasty, when the Duke of Zhou, Zhou Gong, wrote two books for his son's nephews. These would later come to be known as the First Family Traditions. These books showed how to act properly and not to indulge in comfort, play, or hunting. Later, many famous Chinese figures, such as Zhu Liang, Yan Zhitui, Sima Guang, and even Emperor Kangxi kept these family traditions for their children. These etiquette traditions are separated into different categories. First is demeanor. This includes normal etiquette rules that aren't especially specific to Chinese etiquette. This includes not leaning against walls, not sitting with crossed legs, not rolling up sleeves or pants, and not being loud in public places. Another more general category is house guest etiquette. This means not going into rooms without permission or sitting on someone else's bed. More specific rules include behavior around elders. Some examples are informing elders when you are leaving or returning, and waiting for elders to get seated and pick up their utensils before starting yourself. Chinese table manners also include some general rules, but also have one specific to Chinese culture. These are not beating bowls with utensils, as is seen as beggar's behavior, and not inserting chopsticks upright, as this represents honoring the dead. Regarding tea serving, not filling the teacup all the way, pouring with the palm fist inwards, and not pointing the tea straw at other people are all Asian-specific etiquette rules. Chinese etiquette and manners have been around for a long time and have shaped how Chinese people should act and what not to do.